Hi, Governor. Anything on the beef steaks yet? I got nothing for you, man. Very good. Thank you, sir. Well, experts watching this election season evolve believe the front runners for Kamala Harris's VP are Governor Shapiro, Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz, and Arizona Senator Mark Kelly. Good evening. I'm Melissa Richards. And I'm Seth Kaplan. In for Valerie, the presidential race is shaping up to be a close one. Including in Pennsylvania. Tonight, a group of Republicans are working to steer the Commonwealth toward Kamala Harris. Evan Papalis joins us live from the state capitol. Republicans, Evan. Yeah, Alicia, Seth, Republicans, the, the uh, Pennsylvania Republicans for Harris are trying to get red voters to go blue this election. I want to welcome you to the launch of Pennsylvania Republicans for Harris. Its goal? Over the next three months, we will be recruiting fellow Pennsylvania Republicans who share our, our conviction that patriotism requires placing country over party. And never before has doing so been more important than the imperative to keep Donald Trump from returning to the White House. Former U.S. Congressman Jim Greenwood calls himself a lifelong Republican. I have supported every single uh, Republican candidate for president from Richard Nixon all the way through to Romney. This time around is different, not showing any love towards former oh, President Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. Donald Trump is a malignant narcissist and a pathological liar and uh, a con man who is unfit uh, to be the president of the United States. Republican analyst Christopher Nicholas of Eagle Consulting says it's common for nominees to bring in folks from the other political party. Well, this is one of the reasons that campaigns do this, Evan, is get people from the other party to come out for them. You know, Republicans for the Democrat nominee, Democrats for the Republican nominee. Because the hope is that swing voters will take their attacks more seriously than those from members of the other party. Plenty of current Republican officials are standing with the former president. Go Donald Trump, let's win on to victory. God bless Pennsylvania, God bless America. We need Donald J. Trump back in the White House. Former Republican Chair of Lancaster County, Ann Womble, has been in politics since she was a teenager. I became a Republican on my 18th birthday. Womble refers to herself as a Reagan-style conservative, but she changed parties when Trump became the Republican nominee in 2016. I actually changed my registration to independent. So I am a registered independent and have been for eight years, but uh, I consider my political philosophy very much center-right. Both candidates will be hoping to gain independent voters, especially in Pennsylvania, which is expected to play a major role on who wins. In Pennsylvania as a whole, we are on the needle's edge here. And Harris will be in Philadelphia tomorrow. Her and former President Trump have been glued to Pennsylvania over the recent or over the recent weeks. Democrats have actually won the majority of the vote in Pennsylvania in seven of the last eight presidential elections at the state capitol. Evan Mapalis, ABC 27 News.